September is the World Suicide Prevention Month and 10th of September is celebrated as World Suicide Prevention Day. I'm Dr. Ayra Datta. I'm a consultant neuropsychiatrist, therapist and a life coach by day. And I'm a mental health ninja warrior 24-7. Stick around till the end if you want to know more about suicide. It may sound like a very boring and a very mundane or a morose topic, but trust me, it's important to educate yourself about suicide and other mental health issues. After all, anybody can be susceptible to suicide. Did you know that India was called the Southeast Capital of Suicide in 2012? Let me tell you the top five myths that people have about suicide. People who threaten for suicide are just doing for attention. This is one of the biggest myths out there. People feel that they're only threatening that they'll hurt themselves. But you never know, the line is really thin and bleak. Always take a suicidal threat seriously. Women attempt suicide more than men. While there is some truth in it that women do attempt more suicide than men, but men are more likely to complete a suicide, which means that they're more likely to adopt more lethal methods to actually end their lives. Talking about suicide may actually implant the idea in someone's head that they can actually hurt themselves. This is my favorite myth because there is no such thing as when you talk about something, it will actually go into your head and you'll execute it. In fact, it opens up doors to talk about mental health, about suicide, about depression and about wellness. Media spreads rumors and media is encouraging people to commit suicide. This is another popular myth. In fact, media is giving us a method to talk more about suicide. Of course, awareness is the only way that we, that we can attack this problem. And finally, my favorite, children cannot think or even attempt suicide. Read the newspapers, the kids, their school students, youngsters who are attempting suicide these days. And no, it's not because it's new. It's always been there because mental health is for all. It just does not discriminate. After all, we should spread only facts about mental health and not myths.